Spunky, I will make a brief appearance on your show. Yep. Hilarity ensues. Sure does. Okay, so you're a Boston girl, and uh, Christine used to live in Boston, but I am. I have to ask this question. Can I ask you one first? Sure, please do. Could you and Christine switch desks? It would be a That's lot easier. That's never going to happen. If I, I could just Katie. look at Christine. Power position right here, as you can tell. It's tough to look at both of you at the same time. It is. He makes the guest space away from me yeah. and only at him. It's, it's a weird really angle. Cool. Weird angle. All right, Colin, what do you got? It's a psychological ploy. Okay, <laughs> so we, we were talking about this, this this morning. Every movie about Boston, it's the town. It's departed. It, there's an edge to it, right? The city, is it the weather? What is it? Maybe. But those are really good movies. They are. Yeah, but they're they're you're, so they're too. No, I would argue angry. it's an interesting point. There's never been a good movie made in Hawaii. Because That's true. Every movie in Boston's fantastic, and mostly because Boston's dark and angry. New Orleans movies are unbelievable. It's mysterious. Nobody goes to Hawaii for mystery. Fifty First Dates was that in Hawaii? That was a good movie. Was it? Uh, no. What was that one that uh, Bradley Cooper just did? Oh, a lo was it Aloha? Oh, yeah, with Emma Stone. Almost mm -hmm. ruined his career. That was in Hawaii. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. Okay, so let, let me segue to something. You, you are, uh, you, I, it, it, let, when, in your career, I would say you have an emerging career. Thank you. And the sports <laughs> blogosphere is an emerging industry, okay? You are treated very well. Mm -hmm. uh, from time to time, I go on, and they, people love Katie Nolan. Does that make you happy? Uh, sometimes yes, when I feel like I've earned it. Other times there's this feeling that people are afraid to criticize a woman in sports. Oh yeah. Um, so because well, the problem for me is if someone criticizes a woman in sports, they tend to fall into criticizing her for being a woman. Uh, but if you want to criticize a point that a woman makes or a thing that she said, everybody should know that's fair and allowed to do. You can do that. So you don't like the but placating kind of nature of. Yeah, we're, like when I say something that I think is relatively smart, but it's then it's genius. It's a little that's a little intimidating because it elevates me to a level that I don't know that I'm ready to go to. Yet. Sure. Yeah. So you you feel that it can be kind of synthetic at times on the internet. Yeah, sometimes. But you know what? It's better than what it, it could be. And I think everything goes through phases. I think the next phase after this is that we, as women in sports, prove that we can do it, and then people will start to feel comfortable. Well. Criticizing. I saw yesterday a text that uh, Christine got on her phone. She showed it to me, and it was about a major league baseball person, and I thought it was totally inappropriate and creepy. <laughs> so, but generally, no, I never get that. As a guy, I'm not going to, Mia Hamm's not going to text me. <laughs> You know, but women who, are it out. women who are attractive, sports is 85% guys, especially professional sports. 85 seems low. I know, maybe 95. Yeah. So do you, do you deal with some of that, that, that sexist, misogynistic crap being well, attractive? I don't deal with, well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> deal with much of it because mostly, you know, I do my show out of a studio, uh, like a closet and I don't go out and cover yeah. in, I don't go into locker rooms and things like that. Uh, but I, this is one of the tough things I think for for women is that, you know, if you're if you do let's say Peter Schrager's job and you're a woman, yeah, and you know Peter Schrager probably spends a lot of nights out with coaches and agents and that's how he gets his in. For a woman, there's this connotation that if you're out late drinking with an agent uh -oh. or a manager, yeah. well then you know you want to have sex with him, and right. if you don't, well then why were you there? Yes. So that's like a very tough thing. Uh, for women to do. I don't have to, I'm very grateful that I don't have to deal with it, but that text message yesterday was just, Over I don't know how you need deal to be with in that. the locker room and it comes like uh, that. Okay, yeah. I, wanna, I wanna segue to this. I, we're in Los Angeles and mm -hmm. Kobe, I think, is ruining the Lakers and stunting the growth. <laughs> How Are in, we about to agree on something? So you're in Boston, the rival, the longtime historic rival of the Lakers. You know mm, in New York now. Yeah. What's your takeaway on what you see with Kobe? Um... The retirement is just a thing to get us to stop talking about how awful he is because he's awful. Awful. And everybody's now up in the, like, you have to respect him because he had such a long career. And I feel like, sure, I'll respect Kobe when his career's over. I'm not going to respect him this year because 2015 Kobe is garbage at basketball. Katie Nolan, garbage time tonight, midnight Eastern on FS1. Um, I was We talked about this earlier in the show. I don't think the Warriors... And the way they win is good for the league. Um, everybody wants, my kids want ice cream for breakfast. <clears throat> but why I don't give them ice cream for breakfast is A, dental bill, and B, it's not special. That's why I take them to Disneyland once a year. I could take them three times. When the Rubik's Cube was once figured out. Once a year? That's it. Yeah, I want it to be special. You're a dictator. Kind of. Twice a year, splurge. Okay, twice. But the point being, <laughs> when you shoot 31 threes a game, Mm. It's no longer special. 
I, I watch the Warriors and I'm like, <clears throat> all right, you mastered the Rubik's Cube. This doesn't fascinate you that's historical and amazing and it's interesting to decide who's going to be the team to spoil it? I think this run, this arc, mm -hmm. kind of fascinating. But then they'll lose a game. Do you like watching them play? Yeah. I don't. <clears throat> that's all right. Like, I don't, I find it used to be a coach went into a huddle, come off the pick and roll, box out Rodman. Now Luke Walton says, all right, fellas, go hit threes. That's well, the game plan. I'm curious to know what your, your thoughts are on, like, Steve Kerr. Like, does he come back or do you wait till he loses a game, till they lose a game Katie, and then he comes back? I could argue the Warriors have rendered coaching ineffective. It, 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 no, not even ineffective, irrelevant. Remember when we used to have Patton and Schwarzkopf and Generals? And the strategy. And they were tacticians. You know what those guys do now? Uh, yes, I they push a button and they Snapchat it live. They tweet it live. It doesn't matter anymore. We don't you don't need a leader for that team. All it is is rolling the ball out and shooting. I don't, you love but watching. But they're them. really good at it. I find it bo I find I mean I, I don't find it fascinating basketball. Am I am I wrong on this, Christine? Yes. How do you yes. not find the Warriors? I find fun the to pursuit of I find the pursuit of 82 and 0 fascinating. John, we talked about this yesterday. In its little in this little space, it's great. The He's game, just looking around for someone to agree. It's right. a YM. Disagree. This happens. Keep well, disagreeing. Be. You like it too. I watch every Warriors game I can. All right, I'm wrong on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I got voted down on we my show. We did it. Yeah, we did game. it. <laughs> okay, so I people think I hate Manning because I prefer Brady. People now think I'm rooting for Brock Osweiler. Kind of am. How do you feel about it, having lived in the heart of Brady? Um, I love Brock Osweiler so much. Why? Because his name's Brock, um, which is just setting up perfectly for wonderful nicknames. Yeah, like? I call him Brock Lobster. Very um, nice. Like, you know, Where the does B that come from? The B-52s. There's a song oh, called Rock right. Lobster. I'll right. show it to you later. How old are you, Katie? Can I ask that? You <laughs> I am 28 talking. years no. old. By My Wikipedia way, says 27. Mm -hmm. By the way, Christine. How did you do that? Not offended at all that I asked her age. I wasn't offended either. Oh, my God. The day I asked your age. No, was... I said I'm glad that you did because you would ask a guy how old he is. So I, treat me the same. I thought for 44, you look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you started talking about wrinkles and my appearance. Uh, you're right. I was, I was a little over the top oh, there. Oh, Colin. So when you do your show, what's the most hate mail you ever received uh, on any topic of sports? We did a Kobe thing the other night, and I got a lot. People are very protective of Kobe. But no, that's a lie. The most hate mail I've ever gotten was in defense of Greg Hardy. Okay, tell me that. I didn't hear that. Uh, so I, I said that he's a, a piece of gar a garbage human. Is that what it was? Human um, garbage? Yeah, yeah. No, I said garbage human. He's a garbage human. Um, and that he's, he's bad and bad, just a bad person, uh, which apparently people disagree with for whatever reason. So now Co uh, um, Cowboys fans will just, they don't like me because they was it, was love it, was, Jerry Jones. Was it personal? Was it, did you? Mm -mm. Well, I mean, Kind of. It was related to things he's done. It wasn't about. I've never met him as a person. Yeah, I mean, it's, I and I hope not, I don't because I don't think that will end well for me. I'm not bothered by that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that way anytime I'm forced to say nice things about the Big Ten. I almost. I, <laughs> similar. Iowa, similar. God, I've made amends with the Big Ten. Iowa, I don't love. How many futons covered in assault rifles has the Big Ten thrown a woman onto? Allegedly. I know, isn't that an amazing story? Hmm. It's disgusting. Why does he own a futon? Buy a couch and a bed, you're an NFL player. Yeah. All right, Katie Nolan, Garbage Time tonight, Wednesdays, midnight Eastern on FS1. I'm looking over my questions here. You diss me on the Warriors. We agree on Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I, I still find myself fascinated by the NFL. I don't necessarily love everything about the NFL. I do think the media has taken a really negative take on I it. I love everything about the NFL. By the way, that's not always popular. What about the concussions? Aren't I'm you bothered? I'm just kidding. I do you, don't are, love everything about the What about the, the concussions? NFL. You bothered? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the fix how is much? other than get rid of the helmets. I don't know how else you fix concussions and head injuries in the NFL. The game has gotten to a point where everybody's so big and so aggressive that I don't think that you're going to be able to think in a split second of how you should tackle someone properly so as not to give them a career ending or a lifelong so, brain injury. Will you watch the concussion movie? I don't know because I, I don't know that Will Smith was the right guy for the role. That's just a personal opinion. He seems lovely as a human. But I said I, I didn't like the way the movie was casted even with Roger Goodell. It, yeah, that was a weird choice. Do, doesn't fit. Yeah.
Actually, Which Owen Wilson, Wilson. It's Luke Wilson, right? Yeah. L Owen looks more like Roger Goodell than Luke. Uh, but arguably, neither of them look anything like Roger does, Goodell. I know. They don't. You have to have some appearance yeah. connection. Do you think he got to make that call? Of like, if you're going to do this movie, make me handsomer. I don't know. I don't think so. I think sometimes casting people screw stuff up. Yeah, this was a big screw up. Yeah, Katie Nolan, let's hear it for her. Yay. All right. Do I get up now or do I sit here? No, you sit here. We go and do a commercial Fantastic. break. Fantastic. It's the herd. <laughs>